So look at this tree. This is an old legacy apple tree. It's only had one application of rock dust. We look after it, it's been pruned and thinned, but there are significant differences between this tree, which has been organically run to a point, not sprayed, it's only had one application of rock dust, and the trees in the orchard. And what I really want to show you are the, the key differences between the tree. If you look at these leaves carefully, and remember, we're not doing sap analysis here, but if we were to, you'd pick up the deficiencies. Those new leaves are quite pale, but they've also got the beginnings of manganese deficiency in them already. And of course, manganese deficiency quite often causes this problem, powdery mildew. And if you look at the leaves carefully, you'll see that these leaves are a lot thinner. They're very thin leaves. If I just pick one of those leaves, you can see, look at that, it's not hairy, it's not waxy, it's very, very flat looking and thin, and it's got no resilience to it really. Let's go and have a look at the other orchard and see those trees. So let's have a look at this tree and compare how it looks. This tree has had the benefit of three or four years of regenerative treatment with seaweed and the rock dust. And look how thick and waxy that leaf really is. Let's just compare it to the other tree. You can see that that was the original tree, that was the Bramley. It's got a thin leaf and it's quite pale, but this leaf is much thicker and much waxier. Look at that, and it's hairy underneath. And it's not that it's a different tree, it, all the trees in this orchard have the same sort of look to them. In fact, if you compare it with another tree, this is Tower of Glams, that was Monarch, it's dark as well, and it's very, very waxy, and it's got that sort of hairy look underneath. These are called trichomes, and it just indicates a really efficient photosynthetic level. And we're gonna find out why that matters now. So the reason it matters, this whole idea of photosynthetic efficiency, um, is the fact that when plants capture light in their leaves and convert it into sugar, they can do that at quite an inefficient rate. So maybe only five, maybe 10, perhaps 15% of the light that strikes the leaf is ultimately converted into sugar and that's used by the plant to grow. And that's really the first tree that we looked at. It's running at quite a low efficiency rate and it's doing okay, but it's not really healthy in the way that the trees are here and it doesn't have the resilience to drought or pest disease, pests and diseases and problems generally, and the yield is much lower. Although it looks impressive when it's in flower, you don't necessarily get that as, an, as a final yield. Genetically, the tree can run miles more efficiently if it has the right inputs. And that's really what we specialise in here, is giving the trees the right inputs at the right time so that they run far more efficiently, so that their efficiency is so good that they are able to store lipids in their leaves, which you see as wax, they stimulate trichomes, which are those hairs, which actually are able to photosynthesize uh, at night using infrared light. And also you have trees which have so much efficiency that they pump a lot of their sugar into the ground and that stimulates carbon storage. But most importantly, and the critical thing here, is that it stimulates the biology of the soil and it makes the the uh, microbes in the soil very, very happy and they deliver the nutrients into the tree in return. And that's the critical thing. All the nutrition of these trees is coming in through the microbes, the bacteria, the rhizophagy and the trichoderma fungi and all the other uh, microbiome in the soil, the other fungi are bringing these nutrients to the tree and giving them to the tree in a really available form, a protein based form. There are no ions coming in really into these trees, which is why they're so much more vigorous and efficient. And once you go into that level, your level of plant health, your resistance to pest attack, your taste and your productivity goes much, much higher. And ultimately the trees are very cheap to run, but you do get this incredible productivity. And that's at the heart of the regenerative system.